Hey, Mate. Um, I think this was maybe your first extended injury that you've had in years. Um, yeah. What was the excitement level just to get back, especially to a team that's rolling? Um, you know, I just wanted to come in and just bring energy. Um, I really wasn't knowing, knowing what to expect. Um, they was rolling so good. And then I'm like, man, shot come back, we down 20. So I was kind of disappointed in that. But, you know, we turned it around. Shout out to the fans. Um, they brought the energy. And we kept it going. So I'm excited. We're a very deep and tough basketball team, man. We, we find ways, you know, and only good teams can do that. Ryan Blackburn. Hey, Monte, obviously the team has really changed ever since you got injured and now are coming back uh, with the starting lineup the way that it is. What was your mentality just coming back into this team and, and how to impact the game from the bench right now? Um, you know, I just always, I'm going to play the right way. So, you know, if I'm out there with guys, you know, I, I try to play make. So if I get downhill, I'm looking to find shooters, you know, and if I'm open, I'm going to take my shot. So I knew uh, easing myself back into the game, Biggest thing for me was just the pace and my timing. So um, I knew all the other things would just be natural, you know, with my ability, just the way I play the game. So um, the timing and just getting that game speed back was my biggest, you know, focus going in. I knew everything else should be all right. Harrison Wynn. Hey, Monte, what's just been your take on Aaron uh, from watching these first couple games? Because it seems like it's just been a really seamless fit. Um, you know, amazing talent. Uh, you know, he's in the locker room. He like, man, these are the easiest bashes I done got, you know, in my whole career. But, you know, he understands you can just cut on our team, you know, and you can fall into 15 to 20 points just cutting it, you know, and give yourself up. You know, we got the best the best uh, center and player, you know, in the NBA. So he makes most of the plays. But, you know, Aaron has been a great fit. You know, I told Tim, you know, that was a – a great pickup, you know, along with, you know, the other uh, two guys, JaVale and Gary. So um, I'm proud that we got Aaron. He's very versatile, and he helps us on a defensive end in, in many ways. Leonardo Torres. Monte, it's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on the win. Monte, Coach Malone said it was the worst first half of the season. Do you think the same? And what did you change to win the game? Uh, yeah, I definitely agree. Um, it was just effort, man. You, you know, at this level, you can't just show up. You know, you gotta, you gotta definitely come with more effort. We wasn't playing Nuggets basketball. We were stagnant. It wasn't defending. When we defend, rebound, and run, can't nobody in the league guard us. So we got back to that in the second half, and you see the results. We was able to come out on top. Esteban Abed. Hi, Monte. Congrats for the win from Cordoba, Argentina. Uh, continue with the, the answer of um, the question, sorry, from, from Leonardo. How do you feel about the team's attitude to correct mistakes and find a, a way to get the win? I mean, you know, in the locker room, and we preach about it, you know, in our huddles. We're so deep, man. Sometimes, you know, guys got to sacrifice some nights. It may not be your night. So we know we that good that, you know, some guys got to do that. And we understand that, and we're going to beat ourselves. You know, we was beating ourselves in the first half. We knew we weren't playing good basketball. But when we figured it out, ball was popping, energy was in it, and it turned around. So we, we know that, you know, leaving the locker room in huddles, you know, we, we beat ourselves. You know, we got every, um, every ability to be special, every ability to win the championship. Our depth is amazing. So... Um, yeah, we was just definitely beating ourselves. Mike Singer. Um, Monte, speaking of that, did it have anything to do with kind of the emotion of, of Gary coming back, of RJ being back, of the magic, and, and that Aaron Gordon transaction? Like, was that on your mind at all, or, or was this mostly just uh, obviously just a result of you guys? No, I think it was just us. You know, it was good to see the guys, you know, back and everything. But I just think, you know, we just, like I said, we just wasn't playing our brand of basketball. At first, and we knew it, you know, we turned it around. Guys was cutting, you know, and we was getting the ball popping. So uh, I think, you know, that's just us maturing as a team, and we figured it out.